Hello everyone and welcome back to another guide for blood magic. Today we'll be going over how to make some cosmetic items that can be created now that you have access to a tier 3 blood altar. Now keep in mind some of these blocks are just purely cosmetic and don't have any functional or practical use to them besides them actually looking pretty nice. So let's hop right into it. Stone brick path can be created by using 4 pieces of stone and one blood orb of magician or higher and then this will give you your four stone brick path. Now this is what it looks like but there's an alternate form of the tiled stone path and all you do is take four of them put them in a crafting grid similar to this and then you get the four back. So you have the two different forms. One of the things I did was I tested how tough stone brick path were to see if they were any better than stone and then stone bricks. And what I did was I created a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube of stone bricks. And as you can see, it is pretty impregnable. The fact that in the center of this there was a piece of TNT, set it off, sealed it up, and let it explode. But this isn't necessarily true. By just going into it and meeting our little skeleton friend here, you can see that it has blown a considerable amount. Now, one thing to note is that within each test I did, I discovered that about, on average, 11 blocks were broken. And this one, only about 10. But, on average, there's about 11. I did the same test for stone, and this gives me 13 on average. And the last one for stone brick gives me the same amount of 11. So, there actually is no real benefit for using stone brick path over any of the others if you're building because they are not creeper proof or really much just blast resistant. Also, when you run on them, they don't make you any faster. But I do say they look a lot nicer than normal stone bricks. The next item we will go over is the wooden path. This is made by using four wood planks with one blood orb of magician or higher and this will give you four wooden path again alternate form if you take four wooden path in a crafting bench or your little crafting in your inventory you can create tiled wooden path now these do have a benefit over normal wooden floors as you can see I have my little wooded path here and wooden planks here and by setting each of them on fire and waiting a moment you can see that the fire spreads on the normal planks, but not on the path. The wooden path and tiled wooden path are fireproof. So, if you have any exposed fire in your base, you don't need to worry and actually put the fire out after a while. So if you have lava, no need to worry. As the path, as the normal planks burn, burn. The large bloodstone tile is crafted by using one weak blood shard you get from killing mobs with your bound blade, and one stone. And this will give you 16 large bloodstone tiles. Now, these will be born in this mod, but also going forward because this is need to upgrade your blood altar to tier 4. Opaque mimic blocks are crafted by using one blank rune in the center, with three stone, one on either side of the rune and above it. Four large bloodstone tiles for with one in each corner, and a magician blood room or higher, and each recipe recipe will create four opaque mimic blocks. There are two ways to use these blocks. The first is simply by placing the opaque mimic block on the ground, taking the block you want, and then right clicking it. This will then cover the opaque mimic block with your desired one. The other way is you take your opaque mimic block you hold shift and you press right click while looking at the block you wanted to replace and then it will replace your mimic block. Now one thing to keep in mind is that wood planks need an axe to break this is telling me a pickaxe along with this dirt even though the mimic block will show you the object you want it to look like it does not take the properties of that such as as you can see these still need pickaxes to break and if I use it on glowstone the glowstone will then lose its factor of creating light. 
to retrieve your block back, you simply look at it with an open hand and press right click and you'll get your block back. The ethereal opaque mimic block is crafted by using one blank rune in the center, four bloodstone tiles, one in each corner, and a magician's blood orb in the bottom center, and this will give you four ethereal opaque mimic blocks. Now, the difference between these and the normal opaque mimic blocks is simply that no matter what block it is either inhabiting or whatever it is, you can simply walk right through them. So it will look like blocks are there, but they're simply not. So these can be used in hidden bases to make walls or place them on the ground, have your friends fall in a hole for fun. The clear mimic block is crafted with one blank rune in the center, with three glass around it, one on either side and above it, four large bloodstone tiles, one in each corner, and a magician blood orb or higher. And this will give you four clear mimic blocks. What these blocks do is that they allow light to pass through it even though they appear solid. So if I come over here to my little stone installation here, I press F7 to show my light levels, you can see that even though you can't see the torch inside here, it is still emitting light. That is because these are all made out of clear mimic blocks. Lighted mimic blocks are crafted by using one blank rune in the center with the torch on either side of it and a block of glowstone above it. You need four large bloodstone tiles in each corner, one in each corner, and a magician's blood orb in the bottom center, and this gives you your lighted mimic block. What this does is it acts as a light source, and you can put any block you want to cover it. So if I take another stone out, put it on, activate my light levels, you can see even though it looks like a stone, it's still emitting light. This also is more powerful than a normal torch, emitting light around it in seven blocks while torches are only six. So it is slightly more powerful and it can be whatever you want. There is one slight difficulty that these blocks do have is that if you want your stairs to look all nice and fancy and to use mimic blocks, well, they don't function the best as stairs. Even though the stair is populating it, it still has the properties of a normal block. So it kind of is annoying if you have that. This also happens if it is a lighted mimic block. It still takes the properties of the stairs. So if I travel up and I've just fallen through a solid object. Let me try that again. Nope. Oh. Hmm. That's because these two are theorem mimic blocks. So even though you can't really travel upstairs with some of them, other ones can be quite fun to prank your friends and wonder why their stairs aren't working. On a more serious note, I've taken over this house right here to be my very own. As you enter, you can see that this is actually fairly well lit, even though there's no light sources, because, because right here is a lighted mimic block. So even though I don't have any torches showing, I still have light. Coming upstairs, I got all of my nice machines, I got my nice bed, crafting, storage, and still have a lot of light, such as over here, mimic, and over here, mimic. Now, I also have all my machines stored in this house, but as you can see, there's not really many machines here or here, but in this house there is a computer as well as plenty of machines. You can see these wood casings and you. Well, at least I have my coffee and if I go backwards, these stone bricks, even though they look solid, are ethereal. And I come down to see my wonderful little underground area filled with wooden, tiled wooden paths, but it's actually lighted mimic blocks. The stone path for the walls and for the floor. So you can make some pretty nice looking rooms, such as I have here. 
There is one more thing to say about the mimic blocks is that even though this says tile path, it is actually showing up as the normal wooden path. Some of these have slight difficulties reading some of the other texture errors, but it is still very useful nonetheless. Now you have all you need to continue your journey through blood magic. That is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft guides and the random other videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.